Dudes. All right. Uh, as you know, the guy who should be senator of both New Hampshire and Massachusetts simultaneously. Dude, two out of three with ugly chicks. Scott Brown has admitted he is currently the U.S. ambassador to New Zealand. <laughs> he has admitted that he's been investigated over allegations that he supposedly made inappropriate comments on the first trip he ever made as ambassador to New Zealand to Samoa. He's also the U.S. Uh, U.S. representative. Is all these of Sam- Samoa. Samoagens you as do both? Freaking hot as this you. is. This look. This is the problem. You got two jobs. It's very when you're the ambassador to, Z- to New Zealand. You also got to rep uh, Samoa. It's not easy. He told the New Zealand media on Wednesday that he wanted to address the innuendo and rumor about this visit that he made in July. He confirmed he was the subject of an inf- official administration inquiry by the U.S. State Department, which sent investigators all the way to Wellington into uh, what took place on the trip, which seems to be completely overblown. It was an expensive trip to Wellington. Brown said the official complaints related to comments he had made at a party in the Samoan capital, Apia, or Apia, he wasn't sure what it was, how it was pronounced, <laughs> where he told attendees they looked, quote, beautiful and could make hundreds of dollars working in the hospitality industry in the U.S. I was waiting for it because you just know the great thing about our boy, Scotty B, is that it's like if he just said, oh, there's a beautiful woman here, people would be like, all right, whatever. But he had to be like, and what I mean by that is if you wanted to go to Watertown, as an example, take off your clothes and strip next to, say, like some sort of unlimited buffet special, as an example, maybe even give a private room dance, you could make a lot of money, maybe even more than you could slinging coconuts in Samoa or I am, whatever. I wonder what he meant by the hospitality industry. Like, who says, have you ever considered working in the hospitality industry? Is that a euphemism? Yeah. Or I know. Else? It sounds like it is. Speaking of innuendo. Mm. Now, you want to go up to a. Apparently, f- Brown and his wife, Gail Huff, Huff, had no idea that the comments would be regarded as offensive. I, well, I mean, honestly, like, what is. Well, where I was growing up, if you told a girl that she looked like she could be a whore, that was a compliment, unless you specified not in Manhattan or LA. Or what? <laughs> Then what is the hospitality insult. industry, though? Honestly, like, I mean, y- y- th- that Sam, is not I know close. you're a little bit estrogenized, look, you know, though, but you look, really don't know? Look, hold on. Brown went on. He continued. <laughs> I was told by my people that you're not Scott Brown from New Hampshire anymore. You're an ambassador. <laughs> and you have to be culturally aware of different cultures and sensitivities. <laughs> I thought this guy, I I used to work with like kings and queens and whatnot, but queens in my experience, like at Buckingham Palace, they're very flattered if you say, your majesty, you could be a whore, you're a freaking babe. But in Samoa, they get offended, and I got to be more astute about that. He's got a takeaway. (laughs) Well, Huff, his wife had a takeaway. And the the takeaway was this, we're going to be very... Very careful about what we say and how it's perceived. <laughs> that, see, here's I the could point. not have put it better Here's myself. the point, okay? This is what I've learned, all right? Sometimes when you're an ambassador, they call you a diplomat, okay? And then also in certain situations where you've got to be careful about what you say, you've got to be what? Diplomatic. Dude. Bingo, schwingo. That's how the whole thing came, came, came together. Freaking BU law, dude. Deductive there you go. Reasoning. Boom. Boom. 
Hey, your majesty, are you also the there queen are many of Babistan? Listen, because you look like you could work in the hospitality industry. Dude, I went I mean, into I was a, a freaking whore. <laughs> I was at a bar. A compliment. I was at a bar in Stoughton. Okay? So the brass helmet in Stoughton. So I get into I get into a little tiff with some dude, right? He's there with a couple of girls, and all I say to, to totally diffuse the situation, to be dip- diplomatic, was like, hey, I got to say this. You may be, you and I, we have our problems, but I got to say, the ladies you're with, very attractive, could work in the hospitality industry. <laughs> totally became, settled things. Became That's the difference. Friends. It's total difference. Total difference. But in New Zealand, in Samoa, there's a, Samoa, it's a politically correct culture. You say that same thing. They maybe they don't like the hospitality industry. Probably they're overcorrecting from like eating each other and whatnot. Oh, was that undiplomatic? My mistake. I would. I. I. I, I hope to God. There's video or audio of what he said. I just look. Hey, there's a lot of. He's already like up there. He's a little drunk. There's a lot of beautiful women here tonight. Everybody's like, oh, all right, thanks, man. No, no, no. I'm gonna elaborate. <laughs> Look, this is my... Hospitality industry. Hawkers, strippers, whores. This is... Waitresses that can show their breasts for more tips. I just want to say... beautiful women. This is my number one first night trip as ambassador. (laughs) And I'm hoping I can be the first ambassador ever to anywhere... Who gets investigated for his first night on the job? Boom, did it, dude! It's it's it's. I can retire now because I did it. It's meathead Borat. Can you believe it? That the is first, like, his first event, his first event, he gets investigated for. Your wife is a very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. She could be a great hooker in Kazakhstan. <laughs> That's like literally what he did. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.